Now, with education in South Africa in critical need of a skills injection, Intel South Africa thinks they might have a solution. They recently launched Intel Explore and Learn Marketplace, an education solution that provides access to a vast source of free and low-cost digital textbooks and interactive learning resources. Joining me in studio to tell us more is Intel South Africa's country manager, Vadisha Pruthvaraj. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Now the education landscape has faced a lot of scrutiny and challenges the last 10 years. We know we've got a low metric pass rate, challenges with maths and science literacy, and of course the ongoing scandal in Limpopo with the textbooks. Now given this bleak outlook, what does Intel hope to accomplish with your new app suite, so to speak? So I think first I need to point out that this is not the answer to education. Uh, holistic education transformation has many elements mm -hmm. and one of those elements is the content piece. So this marketplace looks to really empower learners uh, in order to augment their own studies and at the same time it creates a platform where content providers are able to upload their very rich content onto the, onto the, the platform itself. So really it's a, it's a piece of the puddle, puzzle, it's not really the whole puzzle in, it, in, in, in its entirety um, and that's what we're really looking to do. We're looking to create a place where learners can easily find content that is relevant to them. Uh, the marketplace, the way it's set up is you can search by grade or you can search by topic. So it makes it quite easy. You don't have to you know, search through a whole web of uh, line items before you find what you're looking for. And it's really also to help educators. So it's, it's, it's also focused at teachers uh, to enable them to provide a better learning for their students. And it also helps parents. I use it myself with, with my kids quite uh, easily. And it's a, great, it's a great tool to have. So it services the three main stakeholders, learners, you know, teachers, and um us as parents. Now according to the press, your press release of course you provide content for grade 0 to grade 12 and you spoke about the content providers. Where is the content coming from? Is there any association with the Department of, Tech, um, uh, Department of Education? So we, we work very closely with the Department of Basic Education on this and all the content is aligned to the mm -hmm. South African curriculum. So you'll find there are different stores. Uh, currently we've launched the one in South Africa. There will be a Kenya st uh, store coming online and one for Nigeria as well. Um, and each store is specific to the country, so you find the relevant content for your curriculum. We work very closely with the content providers. So really this was the launch of the marketplace itself, so we've started working with the content providers to get them to upload uh, their data. It's an ongoing exercise, mm -hmm. uh, and really we're looking forward to having uh, the marketplace ready for the 2014 scholar year, I would say, because by then all the content will be uploaded. And we really want to urge the content providers that have credible content to work with us uh, in this regard. Now let's talk about your relationship with uh, Rankard. It's a Ghanaian software development company we've partnered with. Why partner with them? Is it about understanding the local environment? So, so Rankard has an amazing mobile platform and one of the reasons, we've, well, the two reasons that we've looked to collaborate with them. One is there is an Afri they are an African company so they understand the needs and the challenges and of they this have, continent. They have offices in Ghana, Nigeria and I think Mauritius. And they're looking to open one in South Africa very soon as well. And the second reason is Intel has an investment arm as well which is called Intel Capital and we do have an investment in this company. Let's talk about the devices that's available and I have to ask this, you, of course you've made it available to Android and Microsoft platforms, yes. but surprising not to Apple and uh, Samsung and, uh, and Blackberry yet, why, why geared towards that side of the market? Is it, is it to exclude or is there a later stage going to be a, an additional rollout? So, so it's not about exclusion, it, it really is about us creating a value proposition for our current users mm -hmm. and future users of Intel technology. So those well. with the Intel chip and processor? Yes, so as long as you have an X86 platform it will run on it. Now of course in South Africa we struggle with limited access to internet and broadband access. How do you mitigate this with your app solution? So that's one of the things that I find very exciting about this app is the fact that you're, you can go online and download the necessary um, clips or videos or podcasts or digital books and then it's available offline in your library as well. So you know it really allows for you when possible you have access to a hotspot or if you're at home and you're using your ADSL connection you're able to download it and then it's available on the library offline as well. So you know a, a learner is able to download and then when he needs to or she needs to go through the data and the content it's still available offline which is one of the frustrating um, 
situations we do find ourselves in, in South Africa is that if you're not online, you're unable to, to gain access to content. So we've looked to, to ease that frustration as well. Now let's talk about availability. How do, can our audience, whether they're parents or learners or you know, uh, scholars, get access to the App Suite? So, so one thing I must stress is one of the things we paid a lot of attention to on this app was making it very safe and secure. Mm -hmm. uh, so you do need an adult uh, to create your initial account. And once your adult parent or guardian, whoever it might be, has created the account, you have five uh, accounts that are, you can use in a home. So it really is a family yes. uh, solution. Yeah. Uh, so you really need to go to www.intel.com forward slash explore and learn. Uh, and when you get onto there, it will take you through the steps in terms of do you have an Android version or Windows and which store, South Africa, Kenya, Nigeria. So you follow the steps through that process. Well, Vadisha, we look forward to watching the progress and also, of course, the rollout across the rest of the continent. Thank you very much.